In this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how to make chipped paint. It's not always the most authentic look, but from a distance, it really looks like some of your paint has chipped off. It doesn't work really well with this color scheme, but there's other colors, red, yellow, things like that, that this really works well with. So I'm just going to show you a quick tip and video on how to make this effect, which is not focusing on it. Let me get out of this. So anyway, let's check it out and uh, you can go from there. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to make chipped armor. We have an example of some brush on um, wear and tear marks where basically after everything was done, took a little bit of this colored paint, which is a silver, and a small brush. This is not the brush, just to, this is what I'm showing you, for example. And I got a little tiny bit of paint on the tip of that brush, and you dry brush it just like that, just to add a highlight. But there's another way you could do it if you don't want to take that step. And all it takes is a Sharpie and a metal Sharpie. This one is treehouse paint marker and it's silver and all you do you decide where you want it and we're just going to color section in just like that we'll do another spot right here So I have two pieces, two edges that I colored in with my marker. And you swallow that up, the paint marker. And you want to paint the inside of it, but it's also good to leave just that tip a little bit of black on the edge. Now instead of a wear out a worn out edge such as this, you have looks like actually chipped off. And you can go back over and make that outer black part just a little darker. That helps to make it look a little nicer. But the more black you have on the outside, the more it looks like the paint is chipped and just flaked off and you just have some metal exposed underneath. And that's a quick tip on how to make a chip paint effect.